don't bother making a New Year's resolution. It's pointless. Seriously. Think of every other year up to now and you'll discover that every resolution that you've ever made on New Year's Eve, you've probably failed within two weeks, maybe three. And the reasoning's simple. It's because if you had to wait until, you know, a New Year's Eve to make that resolution, you're not really all in, right? You don't actually care about whatever you're making the resolution for enough to actually do it at some random time. What happens is, is we like to use these dates. At the start of the month, I'll stop doing this. At the start of the month, I'll start exercising. On my birthday, I'll do this. Next year, I will always, you know, the New Year's resolution, right? The reason I'm saying that you probably don't care about it is because if you have to wait for one of these milestones to begin, it suggests that you needed more external motivation than would be necessary to maintain it. Let's say you want to start dieting, right? And there's a cake in front of you. And you're like, well, I'll start dieting, but tomorrow. I'll start dieting, but after I eat this cake. I'll start dieting, but I'll wait until some sort of future time or future event. It's clear that, for that person at least, they don't really care about the diet. If you wanted to start dieting, you'd start dieting, you'd start now. You'd start dieting right this instance. But if you wait until the end of year and you go, well, for New Year's, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna eat cake anymore. Chances are you're gonna break. So what's the alternative? By all means, if New Year's resolutions work for you, do it. But the better approach is to sit back and look at what you actually value, what you actually want, and start taking action then, or start taking action right now. Yeah, whatever the time is. Whenever you see this video, start taking action now. The, the better approach to making a life change, rather than going, bang, I'm not gonna eat cake, or you know, I'm gonna start exercising daily, is to go slowly. You need to change habits slowly. There's no chance that you can, not no chance, there's very little chance that you'll be able to implement a massive change just like that. It just, it, we're, we're creatures of habit, right? It's very easy to exercise every day of the week for one week, but it gets increasingly hard the second, the third, and the fourth, particularly if you're starting from a place of no exercise. The same is true for diet, for quitting smoking, for starting any habit, whatever it is. For me, the best example, I've got two examples of this, for me, quitting sugar. I've been sugar-free now for six months, but that was after two years of slowly, slowly, slowly cutting down. Prior to that two years, I would go, I'm just not gonna eat sugar, and I would try and stop. And I would last a day, I would last a week, I might last a month, and then I would fail. And I would fail every time, because I was going from a place of, you know, just eating sugar daily to no sugar. And it was a massive shock to my system. I could force it, I could fight it for a week, for two weeks, but then I would inevitably crack. This time's different. This time, I decided to take it slow. I decided to slowly, slowly change. You know, rather than having a big dessert, I would have a small dessert. Rather than having a lot, I would have a little. And I wouldn't have massive expectations of myself. Until six months ago, when I was like, yeah, okay, I'm ready to go without sugar. It was still tough. It was still, you know, I, have a lot, I had a lot of temptations. But over that six months, now I'm fine. The same thing for exercise. When I first started exercising, I tried to, you know, instill what my fit friends were doing. And a week I was fine, but after two weeks, my body just hated life. I couldn't handle it, I couldn't manage it, and I ended up stopping exercise. Once again, over the last 10 years, I've been building up and up and up and up until I train two times, roughly two times per day. Maybe Brazilian Jiu Jitsu in the morning or night and a weight session or a run on the opposite time. I would strongly suggest that you don't just instantly start, i.e. the New Year's resolution, because it's a massive shock to the system. But let's say you don't take this advice. Let's say you're like, no, stuff this, screw you, Zach, I'm still gonna do the New Year's resolution. Please, by all means, go for it. But if it fails, i.e., let's say you went for a diet and you break your diet, that doesn't mean you have to wait until next year to get back on. That just means you had your cake, the next day, you're going to be back on your diet. It's okay to fail. It's okay to skip a day of exercise. If you're trying to quit smoking and you, you know, have a smoke, that doesn't mean you're a smoker again. It just means that you failed that one day. 
when that happens to me, I'll think back, well, what did I do today? Or what caused me to fail? Or what could I do better to prevent it in the future? It doesn't mean that my diet's over. It doesn't mean that I'm not going to exercise anymore. It doesn't mean that I'm not trying to quit anymore. Does that sort of make sense? So if you do go down the news resolution path, if you do decide to take you know, quick decisive action and sort of do a massive change, fine. And if you stuff up, which chances are you will, that's fine too, provided you get back on and start again. I can't stress that enough. If, if, you, if you're trying to be a writer and you start writing and then you take a week off and you're like, oh, I'm done. Well, yeah, you are done unless you start writing again. I think you get the point. With all this in mind, I just want to say a couple of things. Number one, have a great 2019. I'm going to be putting out a bunch more content now that How to Get Your Shit Together is done. If you're not aware, the book's out. It's available, ready to buy now. Physical book's quite big, as you can see. I've also got the audio book and the ebook, if that's more your style. I'm going to be releasing chapter by chapter, maybe once a month, maybe a couple of times per month. And the idea will be that if you want to get the book and you're not sure if you want to pay for it, that's fine. It'll be out there for free. And if you sign up to my email link, I'll put a link down below. And if you sign up to that email link, you'll get the first chapter sent directly to your inbox and then you'll be able to keep up to date with everything that I'm doing. I'll send all of the chapters and all the blogs and podcasts and that direct to your email. And like I said, if you want to own it in all in one place, you can choose to buy it as well. So check it out um, and let me know how you think. And yeah, comment below. Comment below if you are going to do a New Year's resolution and what it is. And also comment with what you're trying to change in your life, what change you would love to have made. Have a good one.